Welcome to the fifth lecture of uh, zoology for uh, students of veterinary medicine first year in the Trakia University. Film Nematelmintes. This film consists both of free living and parasitic species and a variety of, of ecological groups concerning their feeding. Class Gastrotriha is sometimes separated by scientists, and I think it's correct, as a separate film, because these are very different from the other, you will see the ringworms. The gastrotrichas are very small, microscopic, but multicellular organisms, uh, which uh, body is consisted of a head, uh, little bit of uh, narrowing part which is called the neck and the trunk which is the body of the animal and uh, adhesive furca or loop these are structures of the backside of the body of the animal with which it uh, attaches to the substrate it has a pharynx a mouth and cuticular plates which are protective on uh, the surface of the epithelium of the body these are microscopic pictures of uh, some species from this group of animals. You can find them uh, mainly in fresh waters. A variety of species um, are uh, constantly described because this group is not well known and many new species are described. And the true nematodes class Nematoda. It is consisted, as I said, of three ecological groups concerning their feeding. Parasitic, predatory, and plant eating. And the plant eating species can uh, harvest their food and can act also as uh, parasites on uh, the plants. Maybe you know the difference between the predator and the parasite. In ecology, the predator is often comparable in size with the prey. And the parasite is always smaller than the host. The prey of the parasite is called host. And the parasite rarely kills the host, as of course it happens in young uh, animals which are infested or also ill or old animals with weak immune system, with weak, weak defensive mechanisms. But it happens rarely, while the predators kill their prey and eat it. They are comparable with their prey or are larger than the prey. These are the predators of harvesting type. For example, uh, you can imagine a flying swallow which is eating very small flying insects. It is also a type of a predator. But now for the nematodes. Important for you to know is that they, they have separate sexes. There are males and females. The males have uh, the specific male structures of the genitalia, testis, sperm duct, and copulatory spicule. The females have ovary, uterus, and vulva. Both have, these are the structures of the digestive system, pharynx, a simple intestine, and anus. Also, they have a very strong nerve ring at the front part of their body. Also, they have excretory system. In some species, they are poorly developed, and these species are the parasites. And firstly, 
about the endoparasites. Endo means inside. So these are internal parasites. Endoparasites are internal parasites. The species Trichinella spiralis. It is a parasite which invades mainly the muscle tissue of large mammals which feed on rodents. The rodents are they are intermediate hosts. That's why it's dangerous to consume not checked well meat from wild boars. In some areas people eat in the European badger, which is I don't like, of course. I don't like the hunting. Even in sometimes it's necessary. But let's return to the Trehinella spiralis. When you want to check if a wild boar uh, has been invaded by this parasite, you can take a piece of muscle tissue from a diaphragm and uh, put this tissue under microscope in slide and look about the parasites which are quite well visible. You can see here, up, it is a muscle tissue with these spiral worms, that's why they are called trichinella spiralis, capsulated inside the muscle tissue. In the humans, they can cause even death or blindness when they uh, encapsulate in the muscle of the eyes. So it's a quite dangerous parasite. Also, it can be called the parasite of the poachers because poachers don't bring uh, mu uh, muscle tissue meat from the um, killed animals to the vets, not to be uh, found by police. And here is a cycle. Also, uh, as I said, badgers and bears, also bears can be invaded and sometimes even domestic pigs which is not very good, but it happens sometimes a rat or a mice which are invaded of Trichinella spiralis can enter into the enclosure of the domestic pigs and they can be eaten. So even domestic pigs has to be checked for this dangerous parasite. Ascaris lumbricoides. Here you can see the adult worms, which are again separate sexes, juvenile worm and the egg. Here is the outer appearance, external view of the animal. Here is the cycle. It invades mainly humans. You can see that uh, during excretion, uh, the eggs are going out of human body by the excrements. And again, they can be swollen with uh, um, some dust particles or uh, not well washed food and invade another person. It, they can cause a lot of troubles in the lungs. It can cause allergies, gut obstruction and other. They are rarely deadly but can be dangerous also. Ascaris zoom, it invades mainly the domestic pig. Again, dangerous and the animals has to be deposited frequently. And the other group, free living nematodes, some are living into the soil, some are living in fresh water, some are living in uh, oceans. As I said, this is one of the most diverse concerning their ecology, their habitats and feeding group of animals. The species from the genus Arcobeles are interesting because they are feeding uh, on bacteria. They have this uh, interesting mouth structure with which they uh, filtrate water 
and can uh, take uh, food particles and bacteria. And they are predatory species. Pestionchus pacificus. It has a specific uh, structure of the pharynx, uh, which can be projected outside very fast and like a sphere to pierce the, the prey. Here in the picture it is shown a um, larger individual of uh, Pristionchus, uh, which killed and eating smaller species of nematode. So these predatory nematodes can be beneficial because they can eat some of the, for example, plant parasites. And the plant eating plant parasites. Here you can see the parasites uh, which are attached with their pharynxes on the cells, on the tissues of the root of a plant of a higher plant. They are living, of course, in soil. Meloidogine yavanica is such a species. It is a root parasite. Sometimes it causes damage to crops as the carrots invading and damaging uh, the carrots. It is an invasive species with origin from the Java Island, now uh, spread all over the world and one of the pests on the domestic carrot. And this is the life cycle of these so-called root knot nematode. Again, don't have to remember it. Know that these worms and nematodes have a relatively simple life cycle, rarely with uh, intermediate host, and they don't have such uh, larval stages which are complicated, for example, um, in the flukes. The life cycle is more simple in the nematodes.